And you've probably experienced the frustration of using touchscreen controls. Using just a gum wrapper and some tape, I'll show you how to make trigger buttons so you can dominate the competition. Check out some gameplay footage at the end of the video. I've seen other creative solutions to this problem by hacking together household items and materials, but I challenged myself to find something that almost anyone can try, especially when people around them least expect it. Because Juicy Fruit has these paper wrappers, it doesn't really help for this hack, so you're gonna need the foil gum wrapper for this to work. So the only thing that might hold you back is not having some tape. It seems like superheroes are always missing tape. Nobody has any tape. Not a single person has tape. Nope. Yeah, so you could probably save the galaxy if you just had something like this. Put some tape around an old gift card, or in this case, I have an old RFID card. If you want to just fix something, you have some tape on you. I got black electrical, some duct tape, and then the clear tape, which is what we're going to be using today. Now that we have all of our materials, let's get started. Now you might have a little bit of excess, so that's why we have the scissors. Probably not gonna make a difference, but we like to make things nice and neat, right? Now I'll just fold this in half and go ahead and cut. I'm gonna have to remove this screen protector because it doesn't create a very good capacity of touch. Stick that on the end. I want to make like a T-shape. And since this part is going to be touching the screen, you want to fold it back on itself so that it eventually becomes the part that you touch with your finger. Something like this. Then you have like a little springy bumper here. So here's what the settings are going to look like. You're going to want to go into controls, custom. I made this fire button, shut up. Aiming button on the, I guess it would be like the right bumper. You can customize however you want. I made it a little bit larger and I stuck it right here up top. You wanna make sure that it's close to the save and reset point because um, whenever the game starts playing, it gets close to the other settings and the tape might mess things up. Then your sensitivity, you want the sensitivity to be around 50%. Place it on the screen here. Essentially this is what you want, so you have a nice little springy bumper. Wow, I can't believe how easy. Pretty reliable too. All right. Watch this. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy.
<laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. And all it cost me was a gum wrapper and a little bit of tape. Yeah, I think this is a really awesome and simple hack. And I have some other videos that I think you'd also enjoy. This is what YouTube will suggest for you. And then over here is a video that I think you'll like. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative.